Hi, this is Mike with Poor Zach Golf, taking your game to the next level and beyond. Today's lesson we're going to take you in with a college player named Monica. We're going to put her through a flight scope skills test to evaluate how her scoring clubs 120 yards and in are performing. After that, we're going to sharpen up some of the shorter clubs and really make sure those 40 and 50 yarders are working well. And then we're going to go down to the short game and really tighten that up and talk about a little more course management. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we hope you enjoy the video. Now, Monica, you've had um, an interesting experience, right? You um, went to a community college for one year. Okay, yeah. weren't highly recruited out of high school, and um, then went up there with Coach Stark, right? Great, great guy at Reedley College, and put a ton of really, really hard work in. Mm -hmm. You know, you improved your game a tremendous amount, and then you really found some opportunity. Uh, what happened then after that first year of school? Um, so, I am. I continued to like email college coaches. Yeah. So I emailed them like in high school, but some of them like don't respond. And then after that, I came back from first year of college and I emailed them again. And yeah, and they responded. We talked, and then I got an offer to be you. Absolutely, that's so cool. Dream school, right? So yeah. something that's really cool. Again, the path is never known, but when you can go, if you don't have the opportunity to go to your dream school to go play golf right away, mm -hmm. all you got to do is find a way to go play golf, yeah. right? And you learn how to be away from home, you learn how to play tournaments, you learn how to practice and stay committed and dedicated, and that's what then the coaches recognize yes. when you reach back out to them. They see your tournament record, I think we won a, won a tournament, yes. right? Had the team had great success, really, really good scores, and um, really allowed you to kind of follow through with one of your big dreams, you know? So that's awesome. I love, uh, love that story, and I just love making sure everybody knows that story because it's so so much fun. It definitely ta um, takes like um, commitment and practice, a lot of practice. Well, I'll tell you what, in a <laughs> tribute to you, you know, you're one of the toughest and most dedicated players I think we have. You know, you uh, you see your set your goal on something and you go and get it. So it's really going to be fun to watch it, watch it keep on moving on. Mm -hmm. So let's um, talk about setting our goal here. I want to kind of clean this green up a little bit, Gabe, for a minute, okay? Let's just pump some of these golf balls down the hill here. Okay, let's go here first. All right, so, um, you know, talking a lot earlier today about low point control, talking about our weight left, um, nowhere, and by left I mean left foot, right, remembering kind of the pendulum theory of bottom of the swing, um, nowhere is that more important than in the chipping area right, where even if you ask one of the greatest short game players of all time, Phil Mickelson, you can test, check his um, Instagram account, right, his number one priority in short game is getting that weight on that left foot, okay, really making sure we have that stable up there. So, um, you know, you see these great players around the green, and even though they look like this, what they really feel like is this, okay, and that doesn't change my shot one bit and actually really feels the exact same as I would normally hit. So we're gonna make that a priority right now. That's gonna help us with a little bit more downward strike of the golf ball, help our keep a low point in front and really good contact, okay? We're gonna work on one other skill for you too though. And that is something that junior players often forget about a lot, okay? And it's the spot that we have to hit the ball to, okay? One of the most important things I like to think of. So what I want you to do here is I want you to take our Porzak golf towel I want you to look at this second flag here and go place this in the place that you want your golf ball to land to successfully execute this shot, okay? It can be anywhere you want. Good, come back, take a look, make sure you got it in the right spot. Yeah. Fantastic, okay? So let's get your club out. Would we be using a, 50, a 60, 54 here? Uh, I need a 60. Beautiful. All right. So our goal now, we've got our visual here. One of the things I like to tell people is, you know, the hole is important in a short game shot, but really this is what's important, is you understanding how your ball is going to react once it hits the green, okay? So many young players have their energy and attention on the hole, and what do they do? They hit a fantastic shot that comes here, lands right next to the hole, but then what? Boom, it's gone, okay? So nowhere can you see this skill and trait um, more on display than I think major championships and Ryder Cups because those are situations where you're gonna see the best players in the world faced with the toughest shots, and when they are, 
they are like tigers stalking their prey on their spot. The hole's over there and you see them walking around like this looking at a spot on the green, right? Because there is a small area where they can land their golf ball that they know the shot will end up successfully, okay? So control to your spot. Control to the spot you want that golf ball to land is gonna be so, so important um, as a chipper and as a short game magician around the greens, right? The visual, the, the vision of being able to see this ball fly, land, and then finish near our hole, okay? All right, let's do it. Let's go um, three golf balls here. I know, let's see, you know, how close they come is great, but let's see out of three how many you hit the towel on. Now, I'll tell you this. If you'd like to, at any time, you can move the towel, okay? But our goal is to see if we can control our landing spot and hit that towel. Boom, one for one, very nice. And we're gonna see that golf ball roll up and boy, that's an easy way to play golf, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We've taken a, you know, 25 yard shot and we've turned it into a, to a 10 yard shot, right? Something much easier to execute and kind of digest and understand. So one for one, let's see it again. Little long, okay, and we see that golf ball go by. So again, very good representation of what and how important that landing spot is, right? We missed that landing spot a little, you know, see you later. I'll tell you what, you hit a great shot, really solid, but we get it by a little bit far, ball goes by a little bit far in the hole, okay? So not technique there per se, more about controlling our landing spot. All right, let's do it again. Let me get in here and try one, okay? I'm gonna use your spot, your, your towel, okay? So right here I see a really low shot. I'm gonna put this ball back. I got a 60 degree wedge. And really, my eyes, my energy, my attention is on the towel. I haven't even really looked past the towel yet, okay? I know this putt, I know it breaks a little bit, but I like those little Porzak Golf logos. And I like the ones on the left side of the towel. So that's where I'm really focusing my energy. And let's see if I can just knock one right there. Boom, that was it. And let's see where this golf ball goes. Sit down, might have had a little kick on the towel like the fringe, but not too bad, I'll take that, okay? I pretty much executed the way I wanted to. So, again, about your energy, about your attention, about your awareness, really focusing in on this spot here. This is what matters, right? Contact to here. Boom, perfect. Watch what happens here. You're gonna hit Good shots, bad shots, okay shots. When you hit your spot, they're all gonna be better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay, a couple more. Good, we fly it by slightly. What do we see? Ball goes a little bit past the hole, okay? Executed my shot okay, just kind of flew my landing spot. Oh. And I always like to tell the, I always like to tell the young players, I say, I make them pick a spot and I say, all right guys, pick that spot, and you know what, I'm okay if you leave it a little bit short of that spot, right? But the ones we just, that are hard to recover from, are the ones that go way past our spot and go way past that hole and never stop, right? So if we're picking good spots, if we're missing them a little bit short of those spots, right, but hitting them solid, we see we leave ourselves a, you know, four or five footer up there when we haven't even hit a great shot. So this part of the game, the management part of the game is so important and the attention to where that golf ball needs to go, okay? Let's see one more. Good, can we choke down a little bit there, okay? I like to get a lot, um, I like to make this club a little bit shorter around the greens because it's gonna give you more control of it, right? The other thing too, for a shot that's very short, seven or eight yards, right? If I have a bigger club, guess what's gonna happen? That ball can easily get going a little further, okay? So you'll see almost every great player when they get around the greens, they're going to choke down um, roughly to the same spot. Normally they're getting about two inches above the bottom of the grip. You know, Adam and I, we come down here and our, as soon as we step into the, uh, the short game area, my hands just get to the club in the same spot every time, okay? Where I'm gonna leave a little, little um, 
cap there and then I'm going to have them down about two inches from the bottom. But again, this makes my club a little shorter. This helps my angle of attack and this really gives me a lot more control of the club head. Okay, so let's just make sure we choke down a tiny bit more and boom, let's watch this baby go right there into those. Give me one more second, one more practice swing. Beautiful. Oh, that's got to feel like tighter and more together, right? Absolutely. Just from, just from the length on the grip. Awesome. Getting a little quick of the fringe. Not bad though, okay? Okay, we'll go closest to one ball each, okay? You want to go first or second? I'll go first. Ooh, okay. Get down on that grip. That weight is left. All your attention and focus on that spot, right? All your attention and focus on that spot. Oh, got it. Beautiful little checkup, too. It's going to be tough to beat. Sit down. All right. Okay, again, I'm in here. My eyes are already on this towel, okay? Haven't even looked up at the hole once. Don't really care. But this is what those players are doing. They're zoning in their attention on what matters, which is number one, good contact. Number two, going right to that towel and that P that I see right there. Okay. Boom, that was the one. Uh-oh. Sit. Boy, fast shot today. These greenskeepers here at Bernardo Heights are doing a good job. <laughs> All right, Monica. So um, last one for me here. Really focus that attention there, and then we're going to get moving and doing a couple of these other shots. We can do this on any different shot on this hole, right, in a great way for us to practice and help us visualize our shot. But more importantly, pay attention to what matters, which is our landing point and being consistent with that, okay? Very nice. Awesome. Okay. Um, let's go into, Gabe, why don't you come up here, okay? We've hit a couple times now. Now, here's the thing. We just hit two shots in a row that hit our towel but went past the hole, okay? So what are we going to do? What are our options we can do? We could move our towel. We could change our shot a little bit, right? Let's talk about how I would change this shot to make it come out a little softer and have this ball just not really roll by the, the hole with that much speed. Now for us, trajectory control, which is what we're talking about, my ability to hit a low shot and have it run a lot, or my ability to hit a higher shot and have it not run a lot, okay? That's what we would do here, and we really do it all with setup, okay? So my first one of the day there that I really felt good about that I hit that P on, I was set up like this. I was set up for my low shot, right? My ball would be on my back foot. My club face would be pretty square, and that's going to create a little bit of forward shaft lean. Now, if I wanted to have this ball hit the same spot but not roll quite as far, I'm going to change one of two things, or two of two things, right? My ball position, as I move more forward, now all of a sudden my ball is going to go higher. The other thing I can do is just change my club face angle, right? Have that club face a little bit more open to the sky, okay? So the low one, boom. The one that has a little bit higher, softer, look at that, all right? Let's do the same thing from this position where now I'm a little bit more inside of my foot. I can see a little bit more of the club face. I'm going to get my zoned in right to that same little P and let's see what happens here, okay? A little short of it, not bad, but we're going to see this golf ball come out much, much softer even despite being a little bit short, right? Yeah. So a little bit higher, a little bit softer there. Go ahead, move that ball slightly forward, open that club face just a little bit. Good, big swing for that little spot. Keep it tight, come on. Everything together, sternum, hands, and club. Open it a little. Yep. Good. Good, so during those practice swings, more attention to the spot. That's how you're going to really dial in that spot. Boom, all right, we got the front edge and this golf ball slowly arriving to the hole, right? Very, very nice. So great way to really understand setup. And you know what? I think this is a great opportunity for us to now be in the same spot. We're going to use a little bit of our imagination and we're going to change this shot, okay? We're going to pretend that, say, half of this green here 
doesn't exist, right? It's rough, it's whatever it is, okay? So now where that towel would not be an option for this shot, okay? So I'm gonna move this towel to the place where the green starts, right? And we're gonna see if we can just change our setup, hit relatively the same shot and have some similar success. So we're gonna pretend that basically from this old cup hole back doesn't exist, all right? Now we're gonna be forced to have a very different shot, one that's higher, one that lands here, and now one that can't roll nearly as far, okay? This is gonna be done all with our ball position and our club face, all right? So let's get back here and take a look at this. All right, still what we talk about here is our weight left. Even though I'm going high, I really feel this weight forward. It gives me control of that low point and the ability to hit down, okay? Now, I'm gonna have this ball more on my front foot, okay? I'm gonna have this club face a little bit more open, and because of the ball being forward, my shaft of my club will not have as much forward shaft lean, right? Ball back, club's leaning forward. Ball a little bit more in front. My hands are in the same spot, but now my shaft is more level, okay? Now, I'm gonna dial in the exact same motion from a different position and see if we get a different result, okay? Just short of my spot, but we're gonna see that golf ball land much, much softer and quieter, okay? Let's try one more. I'm gonna go even a little bit more forward because this is a downhill shot. And like we said, these greens were really fast, so. Right on it and just barely trickling by, okay? Much, much better. Go ahead and give yourself one shot there. That's as good as they're gonna be right there. Yeah, <laughs> That's, they're not gonna stop with much more. Ooh. Definitely higher, softer, we like that. Okay, we're gonna get a little bit more carry. Keep those, keep less wrists out of there and just go kind of straight back with those hands, okay? And then just turn through it. Boom. Awesome, okay, super high, super soft. Very, very different shot, right? Last one for me. But again, the fundamentals, right, of the game are what we always preach to our players day in and day out. Ball position, club face, right, weight on your left foot. These are things that um, really have to happen in all of these shots. Good, one more. Pretend like you gotta get up and down to win a tournament here. Good, so we're gonna work a little bit on these two right here. We've got to make sure, number one, here's the thing. Your weight gets on your left foot, but watch this. My weight's on my left foot. Am I in a good position to hit this shot? Yeah. No, I'm in a position to undercut this golf ball or kind of hit it a little bit thin into the ground. So I want you really feeling yourself and your upper body and your buttons on your shirt more over your left foot, okay? From there, you're just gonna take that club back and turn through and finish more over your left foot. Okay, so it's gonna look something a little bit more like this. Ball forward, club face open, buttons, everything kind of in a line here, very nice. One, two. Oh. Good, so stand up straight. Straight first, out of your posture, good. Excellent. Bend over, there you go, perfect. Now lean into it, get into your shot. Very different position here, right? Yeah. You're presetting your low point in front now. You're taking away the ability to hit that little undercut, okay? You can take your face less open now. Less open. There you go. That should be very good. Awesome right there. Totally different with the upper body being over the left foot. A-OK. -okay. Another one. Much, much, much better there, okay? Good. Chest left. Chest left. Boom, there it is. Ooh, that sounded like some better contact. Go ahead again. Good, a little more out towards me with the club head.
Good. Very nice. Uh, last one, okay? Just left. There you go. Beautiful. Nice. Good, good, good. Really good, okay? Any questions there? Awesome, guys. So really good stuff today. Um, you know, little recap, right? Let's focus on our spot when we're out there and we're chipping. Let's focus on those fundamentals. Let's make sure that weight stays left. Let's make sure your setup is promoting the shot you want to hit, okay? Really good job. Thank you. When you're, oh, actually, when you're, like, opening your club face, mm -hmm. like, why do some people, when they chip, they go, like, underneath? They go underneath. Very, very good question, right? So the club face is open, and the underneath is exactly what you were feeling up there in some of those higher shots. The underneath will come when the player tries to help the golf ball up, and they fall back to do that and try to get underneath it. Okay, so what that looks like is this, right? There's the undercut, the ball doesn't get there, and my upper body has come back, right? Now, when we kind of feel like Phil, and we get more of that weight left, and we feel like you towards the end of the day, more of my sternum over my front foot, now I'm not backing up. What good players understand is that this club has the loft to get the golf ball up in the air. Mm -hmm. This club will get the ball up in the air by you hitting more down on it, okay? So we get up here, we keep that weight left, that chest forward, and we really don't have an opportunity to undercut it, right? We're going to pop that golf ball up every time, okay? Really good question, though. We hope you enjoyed watching our video with Monica. The Flight Scope Skills app is really a great way to dial in the yardage for all the players, and sharpening up the short game is something wonderful to do, too. Please click the link in the description box down below to get your three free videos that are going to help you with your game. And as always, leave any questions, comments down below. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed.